Good afternoon. I'm here on the back steps at home. It has been a lovely day, uh, and I hope that you are feeling well today. I do. Um, this is about the fear of death and living in congruence with our words and our actions um, and what's going on today. Um, I learned a new term this week. Uh, friend of mine, Mike, uh, we were talking, having a great conversation, and he used the term risk tolerance. And uh, we talked about that, and risk tolerance is a financial term, though it is really apropos for right now, for a lot of situations in life, is a measurement of sensitivity of a possible loss or gain. Uh, so if you think about something that's risky, um, we could talk about, you know, stocks are risky, but there can be big gains from that. Driving really excessively fast is risky. Um, traveling to certain places is risky. Uh, there are a lot of things that we thought it would say are risky. Um, how we live our lives daily. Uh, there's a risk in living. There's a risk in going out of our house, of getting on the road and driving. There's a risk, um, uh, and and certain populations uh, are more at risk uh, in certain areas. Uh, the lack of of um, good medical care, of um, food, clean water, um, sewers, etc. Um, they increase the risk of death, of malnutrition that leads to death, of illness that leads to death. And today we are dealing with uh, the COVID-19 novel coronavirus uh, that is uh, typically leads to pneumonia, so it's killing people. And People have changed their actions. They've listened to the CDC. They've listened to Dr. Fauci, amongst others, that have encouraged people, oh, to wear masks, to social distance. Um, and some of those people are being really nasty and hateful to those that are not wearing masks and are not social distancing. But let's compare today. Why is it that people didn't change behavior, that we, we as a society thought it's okay to just go about our, our business as usual um, last year, the year before, when 60,000, over 60,000 people in the 2017, 2018 flu season died. Over 60,000 people in America. But that's different, Stephen. COVID is not the flu. I know that. But it's because the risk of death is higher now. The risk of severe illness is higher now. It's more contagious. It's come home, so to speak. It's, it's next door. It's a possibility that is so much greater that the risk tolerance is in the negative, that I, we're not going to take the risk. Um, but those lives were just as important, those 60,000 plus um, peoples today are not any more important than they were. But we didn't change our behavior then. We didn't shame people for, for not wearing masks. It was really unheard of. Why would we do that? Goodness. Well, think about it. It's because of the fear of death. And it's so hard in our, our country to, to talk about death and dying. And sure, I... I um, oh, here's Sweet Kitty. <laughs> He's been in today. Hey, buddy. Oh, let's, there we go. Um, he was snoozing. Um, and I think there's a lack of congruence with 
people that are being nasty and mean and uh, and that they're they're just giving themselves a pass that they didn't make changes they didn't do anything that would prevent influenza from going around did they oh they got vaccinated we don't have a vaccine now well sometimes vaccines don't work or maybe it doesn't matter that some people realize that life is now and um, I'm not going to shame other or others or be nasty to others because of their decisions they're making even though it may influence me but you know the risk it may not why is that why is it that suddenly we know why because people are selfish and people are scared and people are afraid to die um, so think about if you're being nice or if you're not being nice <laughs> if you're doing good things uh, if you're being forgiving um, because no matter what anybody says and all the buts what ifs um, I'm not promised tomorrow that too many friends and loved ones that have died uh, before they reached my age and um, I just hope that we will emerge and move in a direction um, a different direction a new direction um, with civility that it's not a win-lose game of life that it's a win-win that we're not being vindictive and that we're not shaming others because they're not doing what we think they should. Um, and I wish you well. And I wish you uh, joy and uh, the very best.